Hello, I am Derek McLean, and this is my blog. Um, today's topic, the new iPod Nano. I'm actually lucky enough to have one with us today. Um, this is the new purple um, iPod Nano, as you can see here. Um, this is the 8 gigabyte, gigabyte version of the Nano. Um, you might be asking what's new with the iPod Nano. Um, first off, nine different colors that they have now um, for you to pick from. Uh, more brighter, vibrant um, colors. So you can see here the nice purple look um, to the Nano. Hold it up there one more time. Um, second of all, uh, layout and display is a little bit different. Um, it does offer a little bit of a bigger screen for uh, videos and, and other functions. Um, also, uh, kind of incorporates what you see in the iPhone um, with as far as you can turn the screen here. See the orientation of the page change a little bit, displaying the music that you're listening to. Um, also has a nice feature as well, um, kind of a shuffle feature where you can actually shake your iPod and what do you know? Different song there, REO Speedwagon. So, um, loaded up with the 80s music right now, but uh, so far enjoying it. Um, a lot of cool features, um, adds a little bit more to the whole iPod experience. There were some issues with setting it up at first with iTunes. Um, had a dated iBook running an earlier version of Mac OS X um, and actually need, need to update that in order to run the, the newest version of iTunes, which this only works with the newest version of iTunes. So um, lucky enough to have a couple computers here at the house. So um, didn't pose too big of a, of a hurdle there for us, but could for some other people. So, um, so far loving it. Love the, love the color, love the new features. And as always, um, Mac and Apple deliver a, a solid product, dependable, um, and the performance is second to none. So, um, that's all we have for tonight, and thank you for tuning in.